Hi, with MRP Easy Professional Edition, it is possible to schedule nonlinear production sequences and continuous flow processing in a production line. In contrast, by default in MRP Easy, it's only possible to configure a more common linear sequence of operations in a batch processing mode. This functionality allows operations which can start before a previous operation is fully finished at a point when a certain quantity has been processed. Sequences of operations which run in parallel and converge or diverge in a single routing. Configuring overlap of operations. If during a production run, an operation should start before a previous one is fully finished, then you can enable overlap for this operation in the routing of the product. If the overlap is enabled, you must enter the quantity of processed parts in previous operations before this one can start. For example, if the previous operation and this operation both take the same amount of time to complete, then the overlap could be one unit. Then, if one unit is processed, it's handed to the next worker and products are processed in a continuous flow without any queues or waiting time. If the production line is not balanced, which means that operations have varying lengths, then the overlap quantity must be calculated according to your batch size or the production schedule might become very fragmented. Configuring Special Sequences of Production Operations A good example where this is useful is when two sequences of operations start together to process two parts in parallel, which then must be assembled in a next step. For example, in sofa manufacturing, the frame and cushioning might be prepared in parallel and then, in the next stage, assembled. If we look at the routing, then each line has an ID number. The first line is number 1, the second is number 2, and so on. This also indicates the default sequence of operations. In the Sequence box of an operation, you can change after which operation this current operation must be done. In other words, you must choose which operation or operations must be performed before this operation can start. Let's say that we have two sequences of operations which are performed in parallel and converge into a final operation. Lines 1 to 3 represent the first sequence, lines 4 to 5 the second sequence, and line 6 is the final operation. The first operation of the first sequence can start immediately. Its sequence setting is 0. The second operation can start after the first. Its sequence is 1. The third can start after the second. Its sequence is 2. The first operation of the second sequence of operations can also start immediately. Its sequence setting is 0. The second operation's sequence setting will be 4 because it can start after operation number 4 is finished. Now we've successfully configured two parallel chains of operations which are independent of each other. Finally, we can configure the last operation which must start only after both sequences have finished. Therefore, we select that operations 3 and 5 must be finished before this one can start. This functionality can be enabled at Settings, System Settings, Professional Functions. In this video, we demonstrated how to use the Overlap and Special Sequence of Operations functionality. To learn more about MRP Easy, please see our other videos. Thanks for watching.